From a magical point of view, the problem of positive thinking lies precisely in this. If you generate only positive and high-frequency emotions around yourself, surely there will be a local place where completely opposite emotions would do the same. Even on the Temple of Apollo in Delphi, it was written, Know thyself, nothing too much. And there is an unspoken but very common rule among witches. If you do a good deed, immediately do a bad one, so as not to disturb the universal harmony. Do it right away, and preferably without any delay. In a human, everything is present in equal quantities. If he cultivates total positivity around himself, the negativity will be accumulating within. It will do so on its own, internally, doubtlessly, within himself. If a person has the power to hold this positivity in and not release it outward, it will certainly create a local inconsistency and imbalance where negativity will accumulate. This negativity certainly will explode sooner or later, one way or the other. Balance is essential. Gabo teaches us about balance. It shows us that there is everything in this world. Everything. If you do not accept a certain facet of the world, this does not mean that it ceases to exist. It exists. It's just that you can't see it because of your blindness, but it sees you. And in order to keep the balance, because it sees you as a source of local disturbance related to that same positivity, it will necessarily give you negativity so that you can compensate yourself and eventually manifest your internal negativity that keeps accumulating and accumulating within you. How many of these righteous people are out there living on positive vibes, spreading them around? But the moment you dig a little deeper, you see the negativity coming out. How many of these people are around, so oily positive? And you can also tell it right away that their positivity is oily and false, that they are full of negativity and they try very hard not to notice it, not to manifest it according to their inner beliefs. But sooner or later, it will manifest nonetheless. People say that it was the devil who tripped them up, or rather, they say that about themselves. The devil made me do it. What a maddening way to pin the blame on the absent one, when everything is within you. Therefore, it is important to release both negativity and positivity. Everything should be in moderation, and most importantly, timely. And this is great art, knowing where, when, and what to manifest. Where positivity is needed to compensate for someone else's negativity, where negativity is needed to compensate for someone else's excessive positivity, then there will be equality. Then there will be balance. Therefore, everything should be moderate and balanced. When you see, when you feel that you have accumulated something, you have to feel this because these are natural processes. The human is a living, reasoning, thinking, feeling creature. I am always on the plus side. Stop being on the plus side. The rune Gabo teaches us to be balanced. You are learning, and you should see now that it's not only human beings who have the right to exist in this world, but creatures from other realms as well. The fact that you cannot see or feel them is because you are just like the person we talked about in the beginning, who lives only on positivity. I am always positive. I see no evil. We are human beings, and everyone else does not exist for us. That is why we do not see them, but they do exist. Moreover, we cannot disregard the presence of other worldly races, including those that are frightening. We should study these worlds. Study. We shouldn't be frightened. They occupy their ecological niche, and we occupy our ecological niche. Why not? Everything must exist.